Nanggaling ako sa malaking pamilya, 11 kaming magkakapatid. Medyo mahirap kasi maraming kailangan pakainin, tsaka parang mahirap din sa magulang namin. Pero yung pagiging malaking pamilya, masaya din siya kasi ano, nandyan yung, ano, yung pag-support sa'yo ng mga ate mo, ng mga kuya mo. Sa sobrang dami namin, kaya na namin bumuo ng isang team ng football. Ako si Rosan, 17 years old. Nagsimula ako maglaro ng football noong 2012. Pero ngayon hindi mo na ako naglalaro. Kasi yung schedule ko sa pagpasok tsaka sa training nagkasabay. Then tumutulong din ako sa team kasi kumuha ako ng first aid training. Yung ginagawa ko, tumutulong ako sa parents ko na magtanggal ng balat ng battle. Yung mga kapatid ko pong lalaki, sila po yung mga umakit sa track. Tapos yung mga kapatid ko pong babae, yung mga maghuhugas ng plastic. You know, many people look at poor families and they think, why do you have so many kids? Of course you're poor, you have so many children. But it's actually the other way around. They're not poor because they have so many children. They have so many children because they're poor. School, for example, is really expensive. It's meant to be free, but for uniforms, baon, papasahe, project materials, it all adds up. So if you have three kids and you live on the poverty line in the Philippines, it costs about half your entire income, half your salary, to keep your kids in school. So it's impossible. One or two children will go to school. They're the hope of the family and the investment. But more children are needed now to work to support the basic needs. Ito yung PE, yung mga plastic na nanggagaling sa pabrika. Ito po yung pinaghuhugasan yan. Sinasaw-saw lang siya sa tubig tapos talaga lang ng konting ano, powder para luminis. Tumanggal yung ano, lansa. Ayan yung pee kapag nalinis na. Ibabalot mo, tapos ibibenta din sa may baba. Pag nagbabrown out, lahat ng pamilya dito, de, lumalabas dito, tapos dito natutulog. Maglalabas lang sila ng barik, tapos lahat silang pamilya dito na sila ihiga. When you really get to know the community and ask what they want, they always say two things. Better jobs, better education. Always those two. Families here know what they want, they know what they need, but in most cases, no one asks them and so they don't get the actual support they need. Groups come for one day, give some handouts, but the next day, the kids are hungry again. They keep dropping out of school because the real problem hasn't been solved. Isa po akong level 1 coach, tapos may training session po ako ngayong araw. Yung mga tinuturuan ko po, edad 13 hanggang 15 years old. Dahil sa pagko-coach ko, hindi ko na kailangan mamasura pa. Tsaka ano, na yung pagko-coach, nakakadagdag allowance din para supportan yung sariling pag-aaral ko. Tapos ano, seven years na akong hindi na mamasura. Pinaintindi sa akin ng ate ko kung gaano kahalaga yung edukasyon kasi once na hindi ka nakapag-aaral, yung magiging solusyon mo na lang sa kahirapan, yung pag-aasawa ng maaga. Katulad sa mga kaibigan ko, nabuntis din sila ng maaga. Mga 16 years old pa lang, mga nabuntis na sila. Kasi alam nila, sa tingin nila, ayun lang yung solusyon para para mabuhay sila. If we were just a football team, we'd have some good players, but the difference we've made, the impact, wouldn't be the same. The kids don't just play to win games, they play for their future. To reach that future, to break the cycle of poverty, many things need to work together. One study described it as the four pillars, financial incentives, academic support like tutoring, yes. social support and counselling or guidance. If you have one of the four, it's just not enough. The problems in Payatas in any poor community go so deep, they're so structural, that one thing alone doesn't break the cycle of poverty. If we helped in one area, well the field isn't level, you still can't play on that. If you level two or three areas of the field, it's better, but again you can't play on the whole field. Only when all four areas are level does it all connect and mean that we have a chance to play. That's what we mean by leveling the playing field. Katatapos lang ng laro ng Payatas against Outcast. Ngayon ano, excited ako kasi ano, bagong challenge na naman. Tapos kinakabahan din ako kasi Susunod na makakalaban nila nomads na isa rin sa mga magagaling dito sa ano, Pilipinas. AJ White! That's better now you're free. Good, Erica. That's nice. Tama. Erica, nakita mo si Ronald yung punta. So, White. Nice. 
Nomads are one of the oldest clubs in the Philippines and many of the girls have been in the national youth team and later the senior team. You know, for the first 20 minutes or so, we were doing really well, really challenged them. When the girls gave 100%, they were matching all that. Then they dropped a little bit, they just got a bit tired, and allowed that little bit of space, and bang, bang, bang. It was three goals in the last five minutes. At this level, that's all it takes. Malakas ng pressure nila, solid ang squad nila, challenge ito. Tanggap natin yung challenge, laban natin yung challenge. In the second half, the rain started to pour even harder. It made things difficult, but even so, both teams played some really good football. Nomads were just more solid overall. They were more clinical, they took their chances, and we didn't score ours. That was the big difference. Yung paglabas nila ng court, syempre, medyo na-disappoint sila sa laro nila. Kasi, yung score nga ganun. Pero dahil sa larong yun, nakita nila kung ano yung pagpukulang nila at yung pagkakamal. Yung dati kasi yung wala pa yung football, parang simple lang yung mga pangarap ng mga tao dito. Makapag, magkaroon lang ng maayos na buhay, makakain lang ng three times a day, okay na sa kanila yun. Pero yung nakilala nila yung football, yung iba gusto nilang makapasok ng varsity. Tapos inaanam nila, iniisip nila na. Coach, kapag nag-training ba ako, coach, magiging katulad mo ba ako? Tapos sabi ko, oo oh, naman, lahat naman, siguro, lahat naman siguro tayo dito, may chance tayong, ano, may chance tayong magawa yun. Kaso, lahat yun, kailangan natin yung paghirapan sa ngayon. Kailangan natin mag-training ng mag-training para mabot natin kung ano yung gusto natin ngayon.